Yo, what's good? This is for Power. I'm here to bring y'all my classic and what a solo and heroic build. And um, the other day I brought y'all my classic and when they uh, build for level 4 controls and for doing challenging missions solo. But now this is that same build, but I fully maximized it. I was farming Providence defense all day, all night on solo heroic. I got a couple of pieces that I finally needed. Um, I got even got a better, better classic and one a for y'all to check out. So um, let's get into the build. We run a sharpshooter class as always. For one in the head, 15% increased headshot damage with rifles and marksman rifles. And we run a breath control for the 15% increased weapon stability. Alright, let's check out the build. We running the uh, classic N1A, uh, hitting at 464k. You see, I farmed this in the DZ yesterday. It's got 15% rifle damage, 17% critical hit damage, and 6% damage to armor. And I'm also using an Optimus with it. <clears throat> they give you weapon damage increase for 3% for every 10% ammo mixing in the magazine. You could also use bread basket if you want it instead of using that. I'm just using that one because all the core tributes are filled up. So uh, bread basket does really good damage as well. So I'm using um, Baker's Down. The perfect. This was my first time finding. I found it the other day also in the DZ, and um, it's got 15% marksman rifle. I mean regular rifle damage, 13% critical hit damage, and 6% damage to armor. It's got perfect lucky shot. Magazine is increased by 30% instead of the 20% as a regular uh, lucky shot. Miss shots from cover have a 100% chance to return it to the magazine. So um, you have to be in cover for those shots to return to the magazine. Don't forget to use that when you're using that. And I switch into this. So when you're in PVP and you're hitting little things like drones, you switch into this. So when you're shooting at them, you don't, you know, you still have your shots if you potentially miss. I'm running a pistol, but yeah, who runs the pistol? But uh, yeah, I've been running the round piece group of Sombra. It's got 15% critical hit damage. The core attributes 15 weapon damage, 9.1 headshot damage, and 4.8 critical hit chance. And I got 18.6 repair skills for the chem launcher. All right, chest piece. Uh, I'm running a three piece Providence defense. 10% headshot damage, 10% critical hit chance, 15 critical hit damage, core attribute 13.1, uh, attributes 10.1 critical hit damage, 4.9 critical hit chance, and a moss out of 11% critical hit damage. And um, I run a glass cannon, all damage you do is amplified by 25%, all damage you tank is amplified by 50%. So we take extra damage and you gotta, we take more damage than anybody that's on your team if they're not running glass cannon. So you gotta be careful about how you play and you gotta play smart as well. Try to keep your enemy in front of you and um, hit your enemy from a distance as well. Only thing that's wrong with this piece, I wish it came with 15 weapon damage, but it's hard to find one with 15 weapon damage, glass cannon, and all reds as well. Cause that's exactly what we need for this build to like fully maximize it to its fullest potential. Alright, we got the holster, Sesco Viroba, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. The first part comes with 10% critical hit chance, the core attribute 15% weapon damage, tributes 9 headshot damage, and 5.1 critical hit chance. We got the Overlord knee pads, the one piece gives you 10% rifle damage, core attributes 170k armor, we got 15% to damage to target out of cover, and you only can get that on those knee pads. You can't get it nowhere else you can't put it in the library so if you want that 15 percent damage to target out of cover on your knee pads you gotta farm foxes spray your knee, knee pads overlord so remember that man when you, you know looking for it, to get extra damage on your knee pads you could farm that and get it over and we also got 7.6 hazard protection up there as well all right let's get into the gloves we got the gloves of um Providence defense we got 14.1 weapon damage 12.0 critical hit damage and 10 headshot damage we got the Providence defense backpack 
core attribute 170k armor we got 5.8 hazard protection 12.7 repair skills and we got a mod slot of 5.1 critical hit chance with uh i just wish the blue and the yellow were both red it's like headshot damage critical hit chance critical hit damage and that's the only little part that's holding this build back other than that this build is at its fullest potential um we got vigilance on the as the talent increased total weapon damage by 25 percent taking damage disables this buff for four seconds so uh just remember that, that you're losing the buff on or off when you take damage so you want to pop in and out of cover you'll see me doing it in the video when i pop in and out of cover to hit enemies so just remember that um yeah you t you lose the buff for four seconds when you take damage but <clears throat> yeah let's get into the stats and check the stats out oh let's get into the skills first yeah i'm running the revival hive i run the revival hive because you know we take more damage than anybody so you want to always run the revival hive mistakes happens we get hit sometimes so you want to make sure you're always running that revival hive just in case anything happens all right we got the kim launcher the kim launcher is actually better than the defender drone with this build because you want to um the defender drone only defends you know the kim launcher actually heals you and when you're in pve so um the one heal from this and plus i got the repair skills on that gives me about almost all my armor almost half of my armor bar back just one kim launcher but let's get into the stats we got 4604 weapon damage 306 pvp weapon damage 52.7 critical hit chance 105.1 critical hit damage 113.1 headshot damage and um we got six percent damage to armor but oh yo let's get into the weapon damage we got 57.4 all weapons damage 40 percent rifle damage bonus don't forget to hit that comment like and subscribe we about to get into some gameplay and i appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out the build man your goal is a collection of transcripts and notes from months of prisoner interrogations the information stored on the military grade laptop kept in the main holding area downstairs
just ahead. Once you find that laptop, grab it and get the hell out of there. in the short term, but to all of us in the long run. You also effectively put this hellhole out of commission. 